So my name is Lisa Russell. I work as a documentary filmmaker. I never went to film school. I actually got my master's in public health and international health back in the late 90s. And after witnessing sort of the power in media in terms of how it helps, but more importantly, how it hinders development efforts, I got interested in media and then became a self-taught one-person crew filmmaker who primarily shoots for UN NGO agencies. Having given my two cents, I'd naturally like to ask the next person who is willing to give an opinion, what have you done to ensure that there is enough for all? I think what I have done to ensure that there is enough for all, I think I can break up that question into two ideas. Um, over the time that I've been doing my work, I've come to believe that there are sort of two voids in this world. There's the materialistic void, and then there's sort of the spiritual and the emotional void. And I think sometimes where East meets West or North meets South um, is an opportunity for us to kind of fill that void for one another. Um, we may live in the country that has the most resources, but uh, you know we can we can enhance our spiritual growth by by serving and giving to others, I believe. And likewise, a community that may not have a lot of resources can give to us something that's spiritually enhancing. So I believe what I've done to ensure there's enough for all is I've tried to use my films to spark dialogue um, in the areas where there's a lot of resources in terms of what's needed, um, what can be done to, to improve communities in different places. And I think and I hope that through my travels and my ability to and my my being fortunate to meet a lot of people from around the world take what they give me and share that when I come back to the States. So enough for all I think for me would mean that every individual has whatever they need to feel um, to feel the most satisfied and the most fulfilled. So that can mean again going back to my first question that can mean you know, having enough resources to take care of your family and to survive, uh, food, water, shelter. It could mean, um, as somebody who lives in a country where there are enough resources, something where there's enough spiritual growth and emotional growth. It can mean um, love with your family and your friends, but it's whatever an individual needs, I think, to live a life where they feel the most fulfilled. So as a filmmaker and a, and a development specialist, one of the things that I advocate for a lot is the inclusion of creative communities in the development world. And my question would be to the next person, how do you foresee artists and creative uh, communities contributing to global health and development?